Now foresters know a lot about forests, like these behind me here. But how do we know about forests? What sort of data do we collect? And what sort of tools do we use to collect those data? Well, in this episode of Believe It or Not, we'll show you how to use some really cool tools that foresters use every day. So here we are in the forest. Look, a tree. Hey, Bill, tell us what you're doing there. Well, I'm measuring the tree's diameter, Georgia. And well, why would you do that? Well, foresters need to measure a lot of things in the forest in order to manage forest properly. It's, it's sort of like having a store. You got to know how much stuff you got on the shelves and how fast people buy it and when to buy more stuff to restock those shelves. So it's an inventory. Yeah, it's an inventory. Okay. And so other than diameter, what else would you measure, you think? Maybe height? How closely the trees are growing together? How much light's getting to the ground? Yeah, all of those things, and a bunch of other things too. And foresters have got a lot of really cool tools to help us take those measurements. So let's take a look at some of those measurements and some of those tools. So let's start with an individual tree. How wide is a tree? How tall is it? And, and, and why would we want to know that? Well, if you know diameter and you know the height, you can calculate volume which is a way to determine how much wood we have in the tree. And, and that takes a lot of math. Did you know, Georgia, that... Well, maybe we shouldn't start with the math just yet. Let's take a look at how you would measure these things first. Okay, well, that sounds good. Let's do that. So there are many ways to measure the diameter of the tree or how wide it is. I know a good way. We could cut down a tree and we could measure across the stump. Oh, Bill. You know, instead of cutting the tree down, we can use a tape measure to measure around the tree. But of course, that's circumference, not diameter. So, Georgia, what's the difference between circumference and diameter? Ah. So what is the difference between circumference and diameter? Circumference is a measurement around the tree. Diameter is a measurement from one side of the tree on a center line all the way to the other side of the tree. Now, we could use a formula to figure out diameter from circumference, but if you did that for all the trees in the forest, well, that's a lot of work. All of these mathematical calculations do take a lot of time, though, so foresters use a different kind of tape measure that has a different scale. This automatically measures the diameter of the tree without the calculations. That's right, Georgia. And when you look on this side, it's your regular inches and feet scale that you see on any tape measure. But on the other side, it's a different scale that automatically measures the diameter. Well, show me how that works, Georgia. Okay. So let's take a look at this black cherry tree and measure its diameter. We have to measure it at four and a half feet above the ground. Wrap that diameter tape around the tree. Make sure you have the right scale showing. Wrap it around and line it up with that zero mark. Hey, look at there. We have a 13 and a half inch tree in diameter. So we've covered diameter pretty well, but what about height? We're not going to be talking about chainsaws and cutting down trees again, are we? Well, that would be fun, Georgia, but, but nope, we'll let, we'll let this tree here live. But I do want to know how many feet it is up to that first branch. And foresters have lots of cool tools to choose from in order to do that. Now, if we want to use this merit hypsometer to measure the height of a tree to that first branch, I stand 66 feet away from the tree hold the stick out, the hypsometer out at 25 inches, put the base of the hypsometer on the stump height, and then I look up to that first branch, and then there's a scale on the side of the stick that tells me I've got about five eight-foot logs. Another important measurement we need to take for a tree is its age. That's right, and we've got a forest where some of the trees begin to grow old, We'll harvest some of those trees and that leaves space for the younger trees to grow a little bit better. 
Yeah, and now we all know that we can count the tree's rings to, to Do we get to cut down thing. another tree now? No. No. Because we have a special tool called the increment borer that will allow us to estimate the tree's age without having to cut it down. That's right. Yeah, Bill, do you want to demonstrate how those increment borers work? Yeah, we can do that. Let's go take a walk. Okay. Watch this. We put the borer in. It's a hollow tube with some threads on it. And I'm aiming for the center of the tree. And we're going to go in. We don't have to go all the way through, you know, because we only have to go to the middle because the rings are, are round. And so when we get to the center or close to the center, then we'll know we have all the rings that we need in order to count them. And of course, we all know that counting the rings on the tree will tell us how old a tree is. Does that look far enough? Think I've gone in there? Okay. Well, get out my extractor. It's shallow. I'll put it in. <gasps> There's the wood. I can feel it. Slide it past. Then oh, we'll break off. Hear that? We'll break off that core. Okay. And then we can pull out the core. We call it an increment core. And you can see the rings in here of the trees. I'll turn it over so you can see a little bit easier. And you can count the rings. One, two, three, four, five, six, and on you go. And we can tell how old the tree is and how it's been growing by how close together or far apart the rings are without having to cut the tree down. You know, Bill, there's more to a forest than just the trees. Now that's true. I mean, we need to pay attention to how closely they grow together you know, like basal area and stand density. You've heard of those. <laughs> well, duh, hasn't, hasn't everybody? <laughs> no, well, no, no, no. No, probably not. Well, well, join us next time for Cool Tools number two, and we'll explain to you how foresters measure stand density and what those things are.